through. It is for the US 19 corridor along the immediate coast. This line here, Eastern Hernando through Dade City, uh, well, almost east of Dade City now, but Thanona Sassa all the way down through Fishhawk, down through Manatee and western parts of Sarasota County. That is the threat for severe thunderstorms, the threat for tornadoes, the threat for wind gusts 65, 70 miles per hour. That's the threat now. We still have a couple of thunderstorms back behind it. We can't rule out a spin up, but for the most part, that area west of I-75, you get from downtown Tampa westward, is starting to calm things down. The winds are actually coming down as well, too. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning. This one is actually down south. It's here for Sarasota and Manatee County. It's for this line, the whole line pushing off towards the east, okay? And what severe thunderstorm warnings basically mean is you can get some hail, but you get winds over 58 miles per hour. That's a number because it causes more damage. You get a 60 mile per hour winds, that's gonna cause damage. There's a lot of that wind packed in that line right there. It's a squall line, and it's gonna to continue to push off towards the east. Whole line moves off towards the east at about 40 miles per hour. The cells, the storms in there, are moving at about 50, 55 miles per hour. Now, the red box, tornado watch, still in effect until nine o'clock, but again, the areas behind the main line will not have to worry much about a tornado at this particular point. So tonight, things start to calm down. We end up looking at the rain tapering off over the next couple of hours. And then the winds, look what the winds are doing. They turn around to the west, but they really come down. Now, we're not quite done with it yet. You can see the westerly winds along the coast. Look where that line is. And look how much wind's out ahead of it. You can see those wind areas really moving quickly. The problem is this wind here is blowing on shore and it's really starting to increase the water levels. This is Gulfport. This is the casino looking back towards downtown. We're gonna have to watch this because high tide doesn't get here until about 11 o'clock, maybe 11.30 p.m. tonight. We do have a coastal flood warning to cover this. I do expect some issues, not as bad as what it was last night,